Welcome back to Craig's FM and in today's episode we have the final two Championship League games of the season before we begin the playoffs. That's right, we have secured our spot in the Championship playoffs and if a possible promotion to the Premier League excites you, why not leave a like on the video and click that subscribe button down below, turn the bell on for notifications of any fo uh, future Football Manager videos. Let's get started. Welcome back to Unemployed to Legend Part 18 with Wigan Athletic. My name is Craig and as mentioned, last two championship games come up in today's episode away at Preston and Brentford. Since you were last with me, we've only played about four league games but we've tried to keep the form as much as we possibly can. And two draws and two wins including a 5-1 thumping of Derby County. Not to be sniffed at, we were struggling for goals heavily in the last few well, in the previous few games beforehand, and now we know how to score. Let's see if we can keep that momentum going as much as possible into the Preston game. And we all know, anyone who's been in the class before actually knows how important momentum is, because without that momentum, you may as well just not bother having the playoffs, to be honest. So we want to do as we did going into the League One playoffs and try and make sure we have as much momentum going into it as possible. So the starting 11 for, our pre uh, for the game against Preston, Archer in goal with, hmm, hang on, Reese James, oh no, Reese James is suspended, he should be back for the Brentford game, so Reese Devine, he's actually been in some decent form, he stays in at left back, Pearson and Mengi in central defence with Johnson at right back, Hughes at the base of the midfield with Scowen and Lopez uh, ahead of him, McEachran is getting a break for this game, he's tired, Lang on the left wing, Le Chabula on the right wing with Ricky J. Jones up front. A couple of notes about the squad going into this game actually. Firstly, Canham Lang. I had a promise to him that we'd get promoted so that he wouldn't actually leave at the end of the season. He's now upset that we didn't get promoted even though I didn't show you the league table. We are third in the league by the way. We have guaranteed the playoffs but he's upset that we're not going up. Would someone like to please tell him that we could actually still go up through the playoffs? I don't understand his logic, it doesn't quite fit, but if he's not happy then chances are he'll be going at the end of the season anyway. And if that is the case, I'm looking to get good money for him if he does have to go. But we'll see how we do in the playoffs. We can only look, or sorry, we can only wait and see how that develops. If we go up, he stays. If he doesn't, he goes. Simple as. Right, Hughes with the corner and Lopez just over. Um, also, we've had a several in we've had a few niggling injuries recently. That's why the likes of Jones, uh, Mengi, and now McEachran have all gone on not quite a holiday, but they've just had like one game off here and there, just to try and keep them as fresh as possible. Not really happy with your performance out there, guys. We're drawing at the moment. But truthfully, the squad's in and of itself, just like every, it seems to be at the end of every season, we just get more and more tired, obviously, as the games just start to take its toll, to be honest. I mean, you can see from this Preston team, their right winger is completely shattered. A couple more of their players in midfield and defence, they're really tired, actually, as well. We could try and take advantage of them. Of course, it's also about managing our squad as well. Reese Williams is just coming back from injury so he can come on for Pearson. Yeah, he'll come on for Pearson just to get him some game time. Uh, Hammer can come on for Lopez as the playmaker. And those will be the only changes we'll make for the moment. Just squad rotation to be honest with you. It's just about managing these guys. Really, but really and truly, apart from that 5-1 win over Derby, which was insane, we had five different goal scorers there. It's almost been a struggle to see this team uh, get more than one or two goals in a game. And it just gets a bit nervy. Like at the moment, in the 86 minutes, even at say 1 or 2 nil up, you're still sort of nervy. At the moment, it is nil nil. Le Chabler. Wow, he's, he's done very well defensively. He's really added to his game 
I feel since the last together in an episode but that was just nuts that back pass that was just crazy sorry that just took me completely out I don't know what was happening there oh did I just click the wrong button but yeah Le Chablo has really added um, some defensive work to his game he's done really well I've made all three subs so I can't actually do anything more to be honest with you and I think that will just peter out to a nil nil draw that's exactly what happens but I believe that was Preston's last home game of the season hence why they were doing a lap of honour yeah we were unlucky today it's just about seeing how these players um, can continue momentum again momentum going into the playoffs we'll be back for the Brentford game last game of the season and then the playoffs final league match now against Brentford a name that we're going to have to get used to hearing because they are our opponents in the playoffs Brentford sixth in the league already confirmed the playoffs and we're sitting in third place again I'll show the league table after the final game and that will be the line of the final league position anyway uh, just a couple of changes for the starting 11 um, who's come back in McEachran has come back in for Lopez who drops to the bench uh, Reese Williams still not fully fit here so he'll start from the bench as well Reese James back at left back uh, his long throws I feel are enough of a threat uh, to consider him ahead of Rhys Devine and Josh Bowler in for Callum Lang who's kind of dropped out of form again recently so he will start from there Bowler starting on the left hand side of attack um, as mentioned last league game of the season final chance to get some momentum going or keep the momentum going going into the playoffs yep. use the old media have played you up trick let's hope that works we're playing Brentford away from home here and we've also got them away as well in the first leg of the semi-final of the playoffs crucially that second leg at home could make a difference especially if we're able to grab a result the result in both games oh Johnson just smacked the bar um, a result in both of these games would leave a great marker against Brentford who must be feeling confident against us anyway but we should also feel confident I mean we've had a good season we've performed above expectations the board are only expecting mid table at most and the fact we're in the playoffs is a major achievement in and of itself again turning this squad from a league two squad into championship squads is nothing short of amazing and we've got a penalty here Ricky J Jones with a chance to make it 1-0 with 12 minutes on the clock go on Ricky scores and that's Ricky J Jones 27th yes this is 27th of the season fantastic stuff he started finding the goal um, the goal scoring sheets recently as well he had a dry spell for a while through like February and March but I think that's the second goal recently if he gets scoring again before the playoffs hopefully that will give him more confidence going in to the semi-finals all roads point to the semi-finals and it is against of course this very team that we are playing now oh great stop by Archer there and that was a very dangerous attack Brentford's just going to be immense going forward uh, sadly, we have lost one of our good players, though, going into the playoffs. Uh, Pierre Daniel Naginda has uh, fractured knee ligaments, so he's basically out for the rest of the season, which is a shame because he's a uh, great hands to have. Great tackle there by McEachran, and he's not really known for those very often. But it's a shame to lose a player of uh, Naginda's quality. He is someone who I would happily call on when needed. He's proved me wrong this season because I thought he wouldn't even make it to the uh, to championship level he has so what do I know my scouts and Daniel himself clearly know better and that is oh what a header by La Chabala he's come into form recently certainly benefiting from um, his permanent transfer to us back in January remember we bought him in I can't remember how much for like 135,000 something like that 200,000 either way if he turns in performances like those more often than not, he's going to be a bargain. He might have suffered a damage for... Uh, no, 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 no. That's not what I want to see. Eesh. Okay, get him to half-time at least. Okay. I mean, to be fair, as much as I want a result here... Actually, you know what? We do want a result here. Let's be honest. Uh, we're going we're gonna to stay gestureless. Don't get complacent. Let me just have a look at the Shabala. 
Um, it's not showing an injury, but he more than likely I'll bring him off anyway in the second half because I don't really want to risk him. It's, it's a fine balancing act, really, isn't it, towards the end of the season especially, and by the looks of it, Archer just just about making a save there, but we appear to be getting on the attack now, hopefully. Jones doesn't really run as much as he did before. Never mind, so hopefully he'll get running now. Le Chabolo instead running, and kind of just snatched a shot, really. He should really have tried to put that into the middle. Jones would probably have been fast enough anyway to get there. This is what I... Oh, for goodness sake. I thought that went over. This is kind of what I don't like about... Um, the match engine. The attacking players for the other team always just seem to run by. And none of our players actually make an attempt to even get a tackle in. Let me just have a look. I've got to stu get stuck in. Just drop back a little bit. What is the point? Work the ball into the box. Should have had that on really as well. Hey man, I, I don't understand it. More often than not, the defenders just bypassed. I know they're not the fastest in the world, but for goodness sake, it's not like we've got a bunch of slow coaches, and it's not like we've got no one who can make a tackle. McEachran's put more tackles in today than my defence. Right, the Shabla I am going to bring off. Yeah, I don't, want, I don't want to risk his foot. I really don't want to risk a foot injury. Um, Reese Williams is going to come off Johnson, and Mengi's going to go over to that right-hand side. Going to give to Williams a little bit of game time, try and get his match sharpness up. Oh, Williams is now taking the throw-ins. That's that's a quite odd. And Jones just over, isn't that over? I forgot when you take off Johnson, whoever's on right back is going to literally just have that uh, to have to take the throw-ins. I don't know what Williams throw-ins are actually like, but I'd rather him in the middle, to be honest with you. Actually, no, wait. Williams is a centre back. What am I on about? I'm sorry, I'm losing my mind here. Right, Bowler is also tired, so Balogun is going to come on. Jones is going to drop out to that left-hand side. And I believe... Hopefully that'll be it. I hope. Who knows? Who knows with Football Manager? Just slow the pace down a little bit. Hopefully we can just see this one out and get a morale-boosting victory over Brentford. And we do 2-1 to end our season, go into the playoffs, and we're going to be back here in the next game. Quite literally. <laughs> we might as well just stay in London, to be honest. There's no point going back to the northwest. Just book a hotel, get ourselves a training ground. There's plenty in London, I assure you. And as you can see, the league table confirms we have finished third in the league. Not far off the top two. West Brom and Leeds obviously going up. I, I figured that would be the case anyway from like halfway through the season. Overall, I'm, I'm very happy with how the league season's gone. I still maintain, had we gone straight up, we would have had problems with this squad because there's no way it would be ready for the Premier League. Absolutely no way. From about halfway through the season, championship teams started figuring us out. Effectively, a lot of these results, some results we did very well to get, like we were comfortable, but a lot of the results we had to just grind out. It was really, really tough at the best of times. So. We're going to be back for the playoff semi-finals. It's not showing up on my schedule yet for some reason, but we will be back. It'll probably start in a few days anyway in-game. So if you've enjoyed that, remember to hit the like button and click subscribe down below and turn on notifications for future Football Manager videos. Thank you so much for watching. I look forward to seeing you for the playoff semi-finals. Come on, you latics!